Hello and welcome to Building Components on the Lightning Web Stack. My name is Greg Ruiz. I am the Director of Product Management for Lightning Components. Now, over the next few minutes, I'm just going to give you a very quick harbor tour about building using uh, Lightning Web Components and the Lightning Web Stack. Now, whether you are uh, used to building Lightning Components in their old Aura form, or you're coming from Visual Force, or you're diving straight into Lightning Web Components, I want to make sure that you are aware of a couple of, of, of great resources for you. First of all, as you see on screen, the component reference, the component library. This is your one-stop shop that's going to allow you to go in and find information about individual components, find their documentation specifications, what can you do with them. In addition, you also can see the code, the code necessary for you to implement these within your own component, or or even experiment right here because as you can see this is I'm just going to change uh, a little bit here you can see that as I am typing this this component is updating in real time great opportunity to test it out play around with things now there's also a playground where you that you can use to build more robust examples and even share with your colleagues the next uh, thing is the sample gallery. In our sample gallery section, you're going to find a bunch of pre-built orgs, pre-built applications that we have built, or our evangelism team has built for you to use and explore different uh, implementations of components. One of which I find invaluable is the LWC recipes. And that one is going to allow you to dive in and see the source code for little examples on how to do individual things. If I wanted to, to make a little form that showed a, a uh, um, a first name and a last name. How do I do it? Well, I can view the source right here on GitHub, or I can clone the repo and view it um, on my local machine as well. And coming very soon, actually, on, on the, uh, I believe it is June 14th or 17th, something like that, we are going to be releasing the Visual Force to LWC recipes as well. So if you're a Visual Force developer wondering, how do I do something in LWC that I'm used to doing in Visual Force? These are going to be some great recipes and resources for you. But for now, let's go ahead and dive right on in to see what it looks like when we build a, a Lightning Web Component versus an Aura Component. Now, on this uh, DreamHouse application, this is that same sample gallery app that I was talking about before that I've just made my own. I've added a few components to. You can see that I have a component here. This is my broker card. Now, I built this so that um, a user would not have to go all the way down to the broker field, mouse over it, wait for the preview panel to appear uh, in order to get the broker's details. Now, this was built in Aura. But what would it look like if I was going to build this in LWC? Well, as it so happens, I just happen to have the code itself. Now, this is the LWC code, but before we look at it, let's go back and first look at the, the Aura code. So here we have the Aura version of Broker Card. You can see all the files that make up that component. Now, the main uh, one, of course, is the component file itself. Now, the component file contains not only markup, in other words, HTML, it also contains things like force record data, aura attributes, and so on. Even our interfaces that we are using within our component. So a lot of information going on inside of the component file. That is a dramatic difference to LWC because LWC is built on web standards. And what I mean by that is we are building on the web component specification. We are building using HTML, CSS, and pure JavaScript modern JavaScript even. So we are now following along with the rest of the web in an open standards way. In fact, the LWC engine is open source and we've even open sourced many of our base components as well. So uh, I digress. Let's go take a look at the markup. Over here in the markup of the HTML is only HTML because HTML is the only thing that's allowed inside of an HTML file in a Lightning Web component. Now, the first thing that we see is our template tag. That template tag just tells us this is the template. This is the markup that we are supposed to render out when we uh, call for this component. After that, we get straight into the markup. And as we can see, I'm using a base component, Lightning Card here, along with some HTML markup, a div, and then a Lightning Record view or a Lightning Record form as well. Now, in LWC land, we no longer do logic in our markup. We instead declare a variable. The way we declare that variable is curly bracket and the name of the variable. And that is going to be set then somewhere else. 
where? Well, it's going to be set over in our JavaScript. So let's go take a look at our JavaScript. In our JavaScript, there's going to be some new things that we're going to see here. First, in every Lightning Web component that you build, you will do some imports. One of which that you will always do is there on line number one, you will import the Lightning element from the LWC framework and then add on any additional items that you may need for your component to work. I've added on three decorators, API, track, and wire, and I'll talk about those in just a moment. But I've also used the UI record API which is what the Lightning Data Service uses to retrieve records. So I said, I want to use Get Record from that, and I'm going to use a few other items here as well. But moving on down to the important section here is where we are defining the component itself. And we're doing that as a JavaScript class called Broker Card that is going to extend that base element. We notice that our record ID has been tagged with that decorator called at API. So the way these work is anytime you need a a value to be set from the outside. For example, I need the page to tell the component what the value of record ID is. Then I define that with a decorator of at API. If I simply want the component itself to track values internally, for example, in this string array of, that I'm calling broker fields, then I use the at track decorator, which says anytime this value changes, redraw the component, rebuild the component. And the final decorator I want to leave you with here is called at wire. This is the way we now talk to the server is through at wires. So I'm going to say, I want to fire a wire. I'm going to wire something up to my component, some data. And I'm going to use that get record from the UI record API. And I'm going to pass in that record ID that we had we received from the page along with a fields that variable, which just happens to be an array of property underscore underscore C dot, dot name and dot broker. So those are the only fields that I'm asking for the UI record API to retrieve for me. And I'm just going to populate those into some variables here that you see below. But I'm going to use that one variable, the broker ID variable, to then pass back over here to my lightning record form in the, the, the form of the record ID. And that is going to then use those broker fields to go out and grab all that information from the server without me needing to do any kind of Apex calls whatsoever. And if we go back over to our uh, page here and we go into App Builder, I'm going to show you that, yes, in fact, not only do we have that version that we saw already, the Aura version, but here I have Broker Card LWC because as you can see, you can't tell what is an Aura component and what is a uh, LWC component in App Builder. They both look the same. And when I drag it on, not only do they look the same, they actually function exactly the same because we can have LWC components sitting right alongside of Aura components and never know which one is which. Now, this was a whole lot. This is a real fast tour. I know it was a lot, but hopefully this gives you some inf um, information and inspiration to dive further into building Lightning Web Components on the Lightning Web Stack. Again, my name is Greg Ruiz, and I look forward to seeing you online.